Welcome to St. Peter's Basilica and what many rate as the most beautiful building ever made. For centuries this basilica has been the center of the Catholic faith and is regarded as one of the holiest Christian sites in the world. St. Peter's Basilica is one of the very largest religious buildings ever and has the largest interior of any Christian church in the world. It has an impressive total capacity of over 60,000 people. The history of the Basilica dates back almost 2,000 years. The Basilica is named after St. Peter, one of the Twelve Apostles, and according to the tradition, the first Bishop of Rome. St. Peter is therefore the first in the line of the papal succession. After the crucifixion of Jesus in the first century, Peter took a leading position among Jesus' followers and was of great importance in the founding of the Christian Church. It is believed that Peter met his martyrdom during a travel to Rome in the year 64. The crucifixion took place near an ancient Egyptian obelisk in the Circus of Nero. The obelisk is the very same one that you can see standing in the center of St. Peter's Square today. Peter was buried near the Circus of Nero, less than 150 meters from the place of his death. A few years later, a small shrine was built on the site to honor him. Almost 300 years later, the shrine was replaced by a basilica by order of the first Christian Emperor of Rome, Constantine I. Over the course of time, the basilica more and more fell into a ruinous state. In order to combat this, Pope Nicholas V ordered the restoration and enlargement of the basilica in the 15th century. The work on the new Grand Basilica didn't start until after Pope Nicholas was dead, when the new Pope, Julius II, laid the first stone of the new basilica in 1506. Throughout the project, several noted architects and artists were involved. The most prominent one was the renowned artist and architect Michelangelo. He was the chief architect and was responsible for its main design as well as several other features. Michelangelo never got to see his work fully completed as he died in 1624, two years before the St. Peter's Basilica was dedicated by Pope Urban VIII. The building itself is truly massive with its 218 meter long nave. The Basilica's dome is the world's largest, measuring 42 meters in diameter and reaching an impressive 138 meters towards the sky. The square in front of the basilica was built between 1656 and 1667, designed by Bernini. The centerpiece is the massive Egyptian obelisk you can see in the middle, flanked by two stunning fountains. The obelisk dates back to the 13th century BC and was brought to Egypt from Rome in the 1st century. It was moved to its present location in the 16th century by order of Pope Sixtus V. The obelisk stands 40 meters tall, including the cross that crowns it. The square is outlined by an open colonnade, symbolically welcoming the visitor into the Catholic Church with open arms. A little fun fact is that there is a circular stone between the obelisk and each fountain. If you stand on one of these circular stones and look towards the colonnade, the rows of columns will line up flawlessly and will appear to be just a single row. As you can see, the colonnade is crowned with not one, not two, but 140 beautiful statues. These statues were sculpted by a number of different artists during the 17th century and depict Christian saints. Now, 
let's turn our attention to the front façade of the basilica. The façade was built by Carlo Maderno and stretches almost 120 meters. In the middle of the façade, you can see the classical central balcony. This balcony is called Logia of the Blessings and is used for the announcement of the new Pope. Underneath the balcony, you can see a relief depicting Christ giving the keys to St. Peter. Above the balcony, you can read a long inscription. Translated, it means Paul V, Borghese, Roman, Supreme Pontiff in the year 1612 and the seventh of his pontificate, erected in honor of the Prince of Apostles. The façade is crowned with 13 statues made in beautiful tavertine. These statues depict Christ, the Redeemer in the center, flanked by the Twelve Apostles. If you look at either side of the stairs, you will see two more statues, significantly larger than the other ones on top of the façade. These statues represent the patron saints of Rome, Look towards the basilica, you will have St. Peter on your left side and St. Paul on the right. These were ordered by Pope Pius IX in the mid-19th century, who wanted to replace the existing smaller ones. If you are impressed with the beauty of the exterior of the basilica, just wait until you enter it. Inside you will discover the most amazing church you have ever seen. The building's interior really displays the wealth of the Catholic Church in the 16th century. The interior, which includes 45 altars, is decorated by many famous artists. Some of the most important works is the Pieta by Michelangelo, as well as the Papal Altar and the Throne of St. Peter by Bernini. Just make sure that you're properly dressed before you enter as a strict dress code is enforced. You can also find the tombs of several popes inside the basilica. Tradition and some historical evidence hold that St. Peter's tomb is directly below the main altar of the basilica. This is the reason why many popes have been interred at St. Peter's ever since the early Christian period. The majority of the tombs are found in the crypt, which is well worth a visit, as it also contains architectural fragments from the earlier churches. Today, St. Peter's is famous as a place of pilgrimage, as well as for millions of tourists. It is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List and is considered one of the greatest buildings ever erected. It has been described as holding a unique position in the Christian world and as the greatest of all churches of Christendom. Big words, but hardly exaggerations. What a lot of people don't actually know is that you can climb the main dome of the basilica. You have the option of taking the elevator or the stairs, the latter being a bit cheaper. From there, you have a magnificent view of Rome in general and of the St. Peter's Square in particular.